Higher Labs is, uh, in my mind, focused on solving a single problem. And that problem is, how do you bring tremendous amount of data into computational infrastructure by 2025, 2026? As humans, we will generate something of the order of 150 to 170 zettabytes worth of data every year. Silicon photonics is a fundamental technology where they're, that they're using in order to make something of this particular nature happen. We start to realize that the performance that is needed, the bandwidth that is needed, and the latency that is needed it's not something that electrical could offer. And that's where we start to drift towards silicon photonics as an interface. I do expect silicon photonics to be mainstream in the industry. It's just a question of time, it's a question of cost, and it's a question of how quickly innovative technologies and innovative companies like IR and Intel can work together in order to bring it to market. I absolutely love the smartness, the intelligence that people on both sides bring to the game so that we can make technologies of this particular nature happen. The only things that we need to do as a combination company is to make sure that we execute on it, drive it at the right cost, right power, right TCO, and make it ubiquitously available in all our products so that this technology seems mainstream as we go into deployments in the cloud and edge kind of like computing. This is going to be an element of communications, and it is also going to be an element of technology that opens up the gamut for newer and newer types of applications in the industry. Uh, and that's the part that I'm super excited about.